Not a great day to be an England fan, that one, I have to admit. West Indies finished the day 351 for five off of 84 overs. We were six overs behind the run rate, so I'm sure the ICC will find us and then we'll be even more towards the bottom of the World Test Championship due to over rates. Um, Brathwaite made a very good 48. Louis looks good for his 21. Uh, Mackenzie played an absolutely awful shot to go for 11 to Bashir. And then Athenaise and Hodge put on a partnership of not far away from 200. I mean, about 180 that they put on together. And it was some partnership. It really was. Like, between lunch and tea, England just did not have an answer to them. Athenae's 82. Kavim Hodge, 120 from 171 deliveries. And then Jason Holder and De Silva saw it through to the end. De Silva, 32, not out. And Jason Holder, 23, not out. Um, in terms of the bowling for England, Wokes looked really poor. Uh, he finished with one for 59. He picked up the one wicket towards the end of the day when the ball was starting to reverse swing. Um, Gus Atkinson won for 77 from his 16.5. He had to take over a over from Wood, who went off injured, who finished the day not for 51, but was probably the pick of the bowlers at one point, just for how fast he was bowling. Like, he was absolutely bowling rockets. He really was. There was His first over was the fastest ever over for an Englishman in England, um, and then he broke that record in his third over. I mean, he touched 97 miles an hour today. I haven't seen anyone do that for a very, very long time. I mean, 97 miles an hour is fast, seriously fast. Um, back to Atkinson, I thought he bowled okay. I didn't think he was great. Um, Bashir, two for 100 from his 23 overs. Probably not a role that he would have expected to play. I mean, considering he's the lone spinner in England in the first innings to be pushing out 23 overs, I'm not sure he would have expected that. But the pitch is looking rather flat. Um, I thought he bowled okay. Um, I thought before lunch he was a little bit too straight. Thought he had a few thing, few balls kind of just angling at that kind of leg stump. Whereas after lunch he did push his line a little bit further outside off to get it turning back into the right hander. And then Ben Stokes, one for 61 from his 12 expensive, but again, just looked like he was going to make stuff happen. I did think that he came on a little bit too late. I think it wasn't until the 40th over, um, no, the 50th over that he actually eventually came on to bowl, which just didn't make any sense to me. I, I have to admit, I thought that, Ben Stokes should have been bowling earlier. Like, it, it, I, I just, I didn't understand why he was. Um, Joe Root dropped Hodge. It was an absolute sitter. It really was um, for, it, I think it was before his 50. I th it was one that he really needed to take. It was a good catch in height. He was just slightly going to his left. It's something that you would expect an experienced man like Joe Root at first slip to take. And I'm surprised that he didn't, but I guess that's what pressure does to you. Um, we needed that wicket and that one didn't quite stick. A couple of good catches from Harry Brook uh, today. But apart from that, England were poor. They just were. They were poor with the ball. It didn't look like that they had any plans to get anyone out. I mean, I'm so used to Stokes being this kind of, this force in the field that's going to try different things to make things happen. But I don't know. I feel like we could have been more accurate with our short balls. Uh, I thought we could have been more penetrative. Penetrative when we the ball was reverse swinging towards the end of the day. Um, I'm surprised we weren't. I presume we'll take the new ball in the morning and hopefully be able to pick up the wickets and still stay with the first innings lead. But West Indies now only trail by 65 runs. Um, could I see West Indies taking the lead? Yeah. Who do I think is on top at the moment? I'd say it's probably England, just for the simple fact of... Um, They've got a bat last, um, and you'd imagine that the pitch will deteriorate. Um, I think there's a few clouds around for tomorrow, so hopefully we'll be able to pick up those wickets early. Um, but yeah, West Indies just had a really good batting day. They really did. I mean, that partnership of 175 between Athenes and Hodge was exactly where they wanted. I mean, we ha England had the West Indies 84 for three at one point, and you just thought, okay, two new bats with the crease, let's... Fly for them, bowl them out for 200, maybe enforce a follow-on, maybe go out and bat for a bit, 
smash a quick 2-300 um, and give them no chance to win the game and win it on day 3 or 4. Should have been relatively simple, but no, an unbelievable fight back from the West Indian band. The two uh, Dominican boys doing it unbelievably. Like, they, they really were. They played really well today. Um, you can't take that away from them. Athenaeus was unlucky not to get to his century um, before he edged to Brook at Gali. Um, not much batting to come for the West Indies. Uh, three more wickets and then you're down to the bowlers. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be nice to tidy West Indies up in the morning if we can and then get batting just after lunch. I'm not sure if it's necessarily going to go that way. Um, it does worry me. I just I couldn't get over how bad Wokes looks today. Like those first two sessions that Wokes bowled, he just like he's just missing that yard of pace and that he hasn't seemed to have this season. He did in the ashes. He did in the ashes. He was kind of up at that kind of eighty two to eighty four mark, but now he seems to just be around that kind of seventy seven to eighty. It's just not fast enough. Like it's just too easy. He just He's a, he's a trundler at the moment, and it's just not good enough. Okay, yeah, when the ball was reversing, he looked a lot better, but a lot of players will look a lot better when the ball's reverse swinging. Like, it, it's relatively easy. Stokes looked better, Wood looked better, Atkinson looked better, um, although I don't think Atkinson got as much reverse swing. And I mean, come on, it's his second test. He's probably not used to the ball reversing like that. So it, it, it's fair for him not to go. I hope the Mark Wood injury isn't too bad. Um, and that he can bowl tomorrow because I don't really want to be a bowler down. Um, I was surprised that we didn't try Joe Root at any point. Um, I feel like he's just got a bit of a magic arm that that can take wickets at any point. Um, we saw that at Lords in the Ashes last year when he picks up the wickets of Head and Green um, just to break up. Australia were 300 for three and... We got him 300 for five because Root took a couple of quick wickets because he does seem to have that golden arm. Um, but apart from that, yeah, a poor day for England. Uh, the pitch is pretty flat, but this is a pretty poor West Indies batting, batting attack. And we should be able to bowl these out relatively easy, even though it's a flat surface. Um, just I felt like there wasn't enough plans. I feel like we didn't try enough funny things. We didn't go any umbrella fields or anything like that. Um, if we were going to go for the short ball tactic, we should have gone full on on the short ball tactic. I feel like we left that on the table slightly, but hopefully we will come back tomorrow and do a little bit better. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to put that bell notification on because we will be back tomorrow with a day three review. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit better from an England perspective, but I guess at the end of the day, we've got a competitive test match on our hands. And sometimes the, the whole point of baseball is to entertain. And if that means letting West Indies get up to 450 tomorrow, um, and then we've got to go out and score 350 and then defend 300, so be it. Like if that's what we've got to do, that's what we've got to do. It might even be that Ben Duckett has to run off halfway through the innings when he's while he's batting because his, his partner goes into labour. Who knows? Anything could happen tomorrow. But I'll see you guys for the next video. Cheers.